Welcome to this series where we are playing Reforged Eden 2 Beta for Imperium Galactic Survival. And we are currently stood in the Makara because what I've done since the end of the last video is brought all the fleet back together again. Because in this part, I want to make some modifications, which I've already talked about in previous videos. That is, I think it's time to start kind of, I uh, won't say scrapping the... Plutus, but what I want to do is start cannibalizing it a little bit for a few things which I want to put on the Hydra. And one of the main things I want to get out is this advanced CPU over here. Because if I'm going to upgrade the Hydra, I'm going to need to improve the CPU. So the first thing we're going to do is come here, Makara, main storage. Yeah, I've already got um, this linked in. Just, just double checking because we need to tunnel out to get that advanced CPU. There it is, just there. I'm going to take that out to begin with. Um, we've got other CPUs in here as well, but what I'm really after is that advanced one. The other thing I want to take out is, well, we need to. I need to go out the roof. Luckily, we're in space that we can. Oops, my walking or jetpacking. This might be a little bit more complicated because what I'm and I need to be a little bit careful now over what I want to remove. I want to take out that large laser module or laser drill, whatever they want to call it. In fact, there should be four on here. We're going to take out those. There should also be some cannons in here. That's it, the ship cannon there. Um, a couple of light ship cannons. Uh, where's the other laser drill? The other laser drill here. I, I probably won't put four um, laser um, drills on the ship. We've also got some thrusters here as well. Um, I'll probably if we look at this now, the CPU is, yeah, the, well, the CPU is not that bad actually. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of other stuff in here, but what I was mainly after was the at least four. Actually, we could probably take off all the laser kit drills actually. Might as well. Um, as I say, I'm not exactly too sure how many. So I don't want to spend too long on this. I'll get back into here. Um, oops, I'm on the wrong ship, aren't I? Um, what? Oops. Am I for food? I think that's something to eat before we go out and do the food and meds fruit pie. Um, so the next thing I want to do is come out here. Um, where's the front of the ship? Because we next thing we need to do. Um, let's find the suicide bridge. Because the first thing I want to do is in the oops we go to the where was that main storage we need to put this in the ship uh -huh. Superior, superior. I'm not exactly sure where we'd put the advanced. Um, it's got to be a safer place to put the. Um, oh, the other thing I've also done is I've put the doubt the crew. Now, the, when I did a bit of testing, 
is the only crew that reduced the CPU was this human crew member. And they actually reduced the, um, the CPU by, can't remember now, uh, a few hundred is probably the polite way. I've also put in somewhere around here is actually the, the, um, the alien crew member. Um, see, it says all the CPUs here. Um, let's take out. I suppose I could take out those as well. I don't really like the idea of putting this in here, but I don't want to spend. I think we're going to have to get into here, I think, and. Take you out and hopefully um I got the right one. It could be it would be a bit of a pain if I it was just playing a little bit shy. So what that should do is bring our CPU up to five hundred and eighty four thousand. I want to try and keep this as tidy as possible. So we're going to add you to the core group. Now, before I go to all the trouble of putting in the harvester stuff, which has got to, we got to strip out of the, um, the flutus as well. What I want to do is, oops is find somewhere to mount this the actual laser drill so i want to start now they're gonna to have to be ah whoops i mean they're gonna to have to be on the forward part of the ship aren't they kind of embedded into the ship itself because of course, when they're I mean, they're only two blocks deep. This is where I've got to do a little bit of kind of tunneling. This combat still there. Combat still there. So if we take out these two blocks here, I know it will weaken the, thr the front of the ship a bit. Um, can we go back another one? But at the same time, we've got to be able to get the drills in a position where we can still use them. Yeah, I think we can go back one more on each side. Ah, now managed to get stuck inside the ship. Um, reorientate around. Be quite better. I mean, we will have reduced efficiency with respect to our ability to mine. But I think if we can put you and you there, like that. That would give us two mining drinks. I suppose we could put one more. So we got three. Um, I guess we could just drop that in there, couldn't we? Is that the same? If I put the U in there, um, if we take out that block there. And then put three there's we have three mining drills across the front like that and how much cpu have i got left 
got 84. I mean, I'd like to put the light cannons on as well to give us a little bit more punch. But um, what's the CPU on there? Light cannons. They're 10,000 each. Okay, let's see what these will look like on the side of the ship. Probably put these down here like that next to the bridge itself. They'll be a bit exposed, but we could. So, if I say, for example, I take out that block, that block there on each side. And then we put the, I know the light cannons aren't as useful, you know, they're not as powerful, but I think at the moment, until we can get something a bit better, in fact, let me just see, are these upgradable? And no upgraded, okay. So that gives us three mining drills and a couple of light cannons on here. So, and if we... Come look at the ship. Um, uh, what have we got here? So look at the we've got the weapons here. So what we could do is put the light cannons in weapons. Actually, we could probably until I get it sorted out. we we'll put. Put the light ship cannons in weapons. I think we're create a group called drills so that they're effectively separate from the. And then if it works, if the setup actually works, what we can do is we can set up some logic to be able to turn the drills off and on. Yeah, got why you we need to put you in constructors as well. Where would we put the crew? Um, so we got the drills set up. Turn off the lights. Um, uh, I'm not exactly sure where we put the crew. Defense, it's not part of defense. Gravity. Actually, we'll put you in maintenance. Because <laughs> you, you would be maintaining the ship. Yeah. So we've now got the ship, the Matara set up. The only thing we, what we do need now is to get back to the Plutus and we're going to have to pull out the um, oops, gone the wrong way It's this side, this is the uh, retrieve blocks, harvest controller large. Right, uh, just make sure we're connected to that. Um, so, some blocks there. We are, whoops, I don't know why I've just picked up. Oh, I just picked up a standard plasma turbine. <laughs> uh, walk through here. We we'll just open that up. Well, we've got some plasma turbines in here as well that we could use if we had the capacity. Um, I do need to take out the ammo. So if we go to the Plutus uh, ammo box, 
I think what we'll do is we'll transfer all the ammo to the Hydra. Um, not that we need it. Oh, there's a salvage core in here. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else. Let's see what if there's any other resources I've left in here. Just a quick look through. I think I took everything out when I was kind of um, thing here. Right. So we, we've got some cannon shells, which we can add to the thingy. Right. Um, what have we got here? I think I'm going to continue taking out these. Uh, so that we, whoops, just taking out another standard plasma. And of course, we can also use the thrusters should we need them. Got large shield capacitors in here as well, which we could use. Uh, right. Now comes the fun bit. Because what we're going to have to do is and get back to the Hydra. Get back to. We're going to go in here. Well, no, that's, that's the door. Ah, sorry, wrong place. Um, we are going to clear out the crew quarters. I'm not sure whether I might pay a price for this, but we may have to kind of put in some other crew quarters somewhere else if I've just removed all the bathrooms. Um, we're going to come up here. This is the entrance to there, to there. Right, so we've got the armor upgrade unit area here. Right, that's where our laser drills are. Um, I'm not. Maybe I don't... Where does this come out? This comes out to here. I think what we're going to do... I mean, to be honest, I don't need that much in the way of storage because we're only mining. So maybe I shouldn't have removed the bathrooms. Oh, well. I think I will we'll start here. We might unbalance the ship a little bit, but we're just going to take out you and you. You. But there's something in the center. Oh, it's the light. Okay, we'll get rid of the light. Don't need the light. We'll just kind of work our way back this way. Take the lights out the corner. Um, I think what we can do, because this is a door this way, we can leave this room as our bathroom. So we can... I mean, I don't have to be precise about this. We got plenty of space here, so uh I'm gonna put you there. We'll remove those angle blocks there. Like that. Um I think there's a half block just there. comes up into there that's okay uh, as I say I, I don't want to go too far over the top here uh, come this way there's a 
angle half block there. Um, okay, well, let's come across like that. And then I'm just going to drop the harvest block in here because uh, I might have gone a, a little bit over the top. So I'll just put you there. So much. Got 224,000. I think that would be more than enough to be going on with. And that means that if I get rid of that, go this way. You've got a room here, which can act as a, we can, what we can do is pick up the furnishings here. And we can put a shower just there. So we've now kind of got our ship set up. Kind of. With the Hydra. Yep. And we can still expand out this way and we can still get round to do other changes should we need to right i think that's all i want to do for the moment the only different thing i would like to do is just come into here oh this controller uh create a group call it harvest okay. actually we could probably put the laser drills into it actually kind of think of it and to group others just shove you in there for the moment and i think we're good to go and i think that's all i want to do uh with changes as so i'm not going to take the pluters completely apart because probably the way to look at it is that the plutus at the moment is like a uh, a kind of a, a storage area for bits and pieces that I may want to need in the future. Ah, apologies, I just had to take a short break um, because for some reason I started sneezing, which is not really conducive to making YouTube videos. So what we're going to do is thrusters on, uh, shields on, uh, no, we don't need shields, so we don't even really need turrets and weapons either, do we? And what we're going to do now is go to another M-class planet. But the only, one thing I do need is to see if I've got any um, scanners, you know, anything to scan with. Uh, I can't remember now. Um... Probably just as easy to make one, make some new more ones. To be honest, uh, just make some basic probes. It's not like I'm short of resources. There's the products. Right, where's fuel and oxygen? Put that there. So the next question is, where are we going to go? We've got an M3 that way. Um, let's turn on the regions again. I still would like to work our way towards the Brotherhood of Far down through this gap here. Uh, so. I think we've just got an ordinary M class planet over here. I think maybe we'd go for that rather than so like an M4 or an M5. So we're going to go to Orosia. Um, 
if we can find it. Let's just let the ship maneuver, line up, and get to speed, and away we go. Oops, we got basic probes, right? We need standard probes. Okay, let me just pick these up. These can get shoved back into the input. And then, well, go that way. Yep. Built, built the wrong probes. And we're just going to make the standard probes. Right, but should have at least one finish now. Uh, fuel and oxygen. Okay. Right, we. Okay, so we should now have uh, a standard probe. Uh, M class Red Dwarf star system gives off very little energy and in good places to find cold planets of snow and ice. So we're now scanning this, and of course what we've got to do is put the team back together again. So we're going to have to, uh, well, we have to get out with the ship. But actually, no, I've done this in the wrong order. Warp to an M-class system, yes, yeah, so thank you again. But we actually, before I do that, let's have a look at the system. What have we got here? We've got we've got a moon out here. Um, Marin moon. Got poor quality asteroid. I want to get to an asteroid field or something. What have we got over here? We've got a dead planet. Ah, uh, I I think I would like. Looks like we got. Two dead planets. Uh, given my severe shortage of Optronics bridges, I think we are going to visit the dead planets. But first thing I wouldn't mind doing, yeah, I think this is the dead planets are something I wouldn't mind picking up. Um, but of course, obviously, it's going to be a lot of duplicate and a lot of donkey work. So uh, I think I will most likely do some of that off camera, guys, because what I'm really after is the Optronics bridges. So, uh, okay. All right. well, we don't need the shields just yet, so I was just going to just flip the ship off. I'm not exactly sure how we managed to flip the ship off without thrusters, but that's uh, one of the mysteries of the game um put shields back on just check the cpu yeah we've got about forty thousand left to do so right we're just gonna oops what happened there we're not aligned to the plane so just drop the put the Before we go, our consumption is 1.2 kilowatts. Turn the thrusters off. That gives us negative power. I think what we will do is take some of the, uh, what we call it with us as well, products. That's the Hydra. Oh, no. sorry, wrong way around. Uh, fuel and oxygen. Mm, we don't have that much fuel, but we can take a little bit with us. With respect to. Yeah, I, th I think we're OK. We are building up a little bit in the way of resources. Somebody did say about this destroyed salvage actually putting it in the deconstructor. 
Um, I'm kind of a bit inclined at the moment just to hang on to it to see if we can trade for it because we need money more than anything else. Uh, well, just come this way. And um, we'll just chuck you into the into here again. Turn the power off. And oops. Um we're not gonna uh, go up to the main bridge to start with now the next question actually the map here I'm just going to tag that so on the off chance it might actually help us find the ship a bit more um, we've got a poor quality asteroid build here What we got here, we got, I'll say we got a couple of dead planets. We're not worried about those just at the moment. Uh, we're coming to those in a little while. We got a barren planet over here. So really all that's in this system is we got an Eden Polaris mining area there. Um, These are not showing as having any moons. Let's see, we've got a methane moon. Varnished, we've got a methane moon. What on earth is a methane moon? Well, whatever it is, we're going to, going to see if we can find it. Um, right, so away we go. Build up speed and away we go. I've discovered a wreckage. We got a pentaxid. Right, so what we're looking for, you know, we've got a magnesium asteroid. All we've got to do is find it. Got a wrecked cargo vessel over there. A Xerox trade station. <laughs> that could be fun. Uh, um, where's the moons? What's that in front of us? We've got Quin in Quinvictus Moon Three. Okay, let's have a look at. Was that the one that we're aiming for? Just make sure yeah it's actually a methane moon right in front of us so we're gonna keep flying ah there's the magnesium asteroid got xerox claimed all oh, right we're gonna head for the magnesium Asteroid, because I want to try out the drills. Got a colonist billboard, refinery. Right, what we got to do now is get, get into the mining bridge. I'm not going to think we'd call it the mining bridge from now on, because technically that's what it is. Get into the. Um, I think there's some we got some visitors but I don't think they're a problem I think this is working quite well actually it's the only trouble is this is we're in a 
bit of a system that So um, I think three, three actual drills will work quite well. <laughs> I think we're dealing with the interceptors. Actually, have I got the shields on? Yeah, the shields are on. Um, we're getting a lot of crushed stone though. Uh, yeah, I think the suicide bridge works pretty well with respect to as a mining bridge and we are getting quite a lot of I think we've that's I think we've got everything out of that area there just move around uh, it's a bit difficult in this lighting to tell uh, what is actually magnesium anyway I think we've have a proof of concept which is all i wanted to do um as i say um we're reasonably okay for um looks like we've killed quite a few interceptors here as well with our defense rockets so it means we can the interdictors or interdictator are not a problem i just want to check this moon what, what else do we know about this moon not a lot Right, we're going to head for the moon because I'm quite fascinated with what we're going to find on a methane moon. So we're just going to head that way. And we'll put down on and see what we've got. Boom, 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 gone. The only trouble is this is a bit expensive with respect to the actual ammunition. Right, so we're now going to break through this atmosphere. So here we are, we're just breaking through the atmosphere. Got to out a Xerox refueling station. Some funny looking things just here. But no idea what they are. Um, what have we got on this planet? Neo, Sathium, Promethium. Not exactly what i was expecting although we could do with picking up some neo anything else on this uh, we've got a voidium formation i don't think i can mine voidium can i i think what we'll do is we'll go for the neo and then we'll change to the mx5 and see what we can okay that Maybe the Neo isn't such a good idea. It's very close to a missile base. Um, maybe we'll go for the Voidium formation instead and see what that is. We're not worried about the rocket aerodrome. We can kind of blow that away. So there's the Voidium. Now, as far as I know, well, as far as I know, you can't mine this with a normal set of drills, but we'll give it a go. Um, turn the thrusters off, leave the shields on. Ah, wow. Okay. And um, what's going on? Ah. Um, that's not good. And like the ship tilted over that 98 percent i'm certain that you can't actually mine voidium with a normal drill but we are in reforged eden too so there's a possibility the rules have made may have changed so what we're going to do is we're just going to go out with the auger and see if that will anything we can do if not we're have a look at the tech and try and find out. No, it cannot be damaged. Yeah, I, I know the feeling that was what it is. So I don't think there's anything else around here that we picked up. We got copper, we got a large sathium deposit. We got some neo there, but that neodymium is too way too close to the 
we got a crash DSC front over there. So we'll just get tuck the ship into here. So basically what we've learned is that um, methane moons can, can contain voidium. We just need the ability to mine them. Now, as far as I know, originally what you had was, was a separate research up here, but I don't, doesn't look like it's there anymore. So I would guess that somehow now, uh, so I'd guess that, um, making something to do with, um, well, what we could do is come in here and take a look at what we've got here, because there must be something in here where we can, which will give us an indication of how we can mine voidium. Uh, positron accumulator. Okay. Well, I'm not having much luck finding a vaudium drill, but what I have found is the fact that we got this harvester drill, which we can use for um, specialist mining. And this has got 10,000, but we'd need an auto miner kit, kit, a large one here. Um, fix, so it says here, fixed mining laser for mining rich asteroids found in specialist mining, especially modulated for, to mine only rich asteroids which will not work on any other material. Focus on rich, target rich asteroids until they're depleted. It would take some time, but take some fiddling and some time fiddling depending on the number of lasers being used. Now that could be interesting because we could use that to be able to, um, we could use that to mine the ice asteroids but we would need to sort that out. And of course we'd have to make deuteronium fuel, whatever that is, but it is unlocked. Anyway, I can't find where the voidium is. Um, if any of you know, feel free to chuck it in the comments. As I say, it used to be a voidium hand drill, but I don't want to waste your time doing that. Uh, um, go back, we we'll go to the main bridge. This time we're not mining. And I think what we're going to do is get up into space and we're going to go to the dead planet and kind of make the preparations there because I really do need those, um, those optronics bridges. So we're going to get up into space. Yeah. System. Where are they? We'll go to um, Rimity. Uh, we'll head for that as as uh, what's that over there? Right, we're going to head for Rimity. Right, we've got, we've got some stuff around here. We've got Pentaxid, Titanium and Sathium. Um, I think mining a pentaxid asteroid would be a little bit tricky um, with the ship, but you never know. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're just going to head for the dead planet and see if we can find the unfinished escape rocket. We have a, an infested hideout. We've got a defense satellite there, which could be a bit of a pain in the neck. 
Looks like we've got a Imaret class destroyer in this system, which could be a little bit of a challenge. We've got an ancient data cache in this system. We've got two ancient data caches in this system as well. Um, maybe they could be worth checking out if we can avoid the destroyer. Uh, although we do have a kind of weapons array. We've got a parrot class figure in the system as well. Uh, it's, it looks like it's on the other side of the planet, but that's okay. And we're just going to break through the atmosphere. And here we are. We've got an exploration shuttle. Now comes the usual fairly tedious task of finding the unfinished escape rocket. So uh, I think we're going to head this way and uh, I think we're going to do the usual routine now. Uh, I'll keep exploring the planet and I'll come back if I find anything of any interest. <clears throat> okay, welcome back. We found the unfinished escape rocket. Everything is a little bit purple, but there's nothing I can do about it. Looks like we got quite a lot of bits and pieces round here. We're just going to actually it's the wrong side. I look I prefer I think we're gonna put the um the hydra on the other side if we can do it. Uh, because that's nearer that column of fuel cells. Well, so we're just gonna pack the hydra in there. And thrusters off. We don't need the shields. <laughs> um, I got the yeah. I've got a salvage core, and we're just going to go up to pick up the MX five. Of course, the first thing we're going to do is have to destroy the core. Oops. I don't seem to have my jetpack on. Okay, we don't need shields. Um, uh, start with the logical place. Actually, that looks... I don't. Th I think the core is lower down, but we'll just double check first because we got food supplies in here as well. So, oh, the core's up there. Um, okay, we we'll just empty the fridges. Got a loaf of bread, and we'll just jump up here. Got two loaves of bread. I'm pretty sure I can see the core. Yeah, I think pretty sure the core's up in there, so whoops. Um yeah. Up there. Is that the core? Oh well we'll soon find out. There it is. Core's gone. Get onto the ship. Get down. Whoops. And here. the core and we've claimed another unfinished escape rocket a quick look through a little bit of fuel a whole load of cargo boxes to be emptied which I will do off camera um, more importantly we need the two CPU extenders improved to get the optronics bridges 
would be really nice. Um, I would really would like some smaller um, optronics bridges, but we might better get the resources to make those because hopefully in that big pile of cargo boxes, we may actually find some gold because the one thing that's kind of missing from the fleet at the moment is the MX-9. Where is it? Um, it's in here somewhere. It's not the MX-5E. I can't remember what it's called now, actually. Um, uh, <laughs> My Light Reforged T2. Is it the 9? Where's it gone? Not doing very well. It's not the NX Talon. I, or is it the MX-7? It might be the MX-7, actually. I think it's that's the one. That's the new version, I think. Um, just go for the fruit. got a 5e yeah i think it maybe it is the mx5 I, i'll have to double check <laughs> uh because we did make a start on it didn't we with all the various bits and pieces anyway this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting what i will do is loot all this um down off camera because for obvious reasons it's not exactly that interesting but until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming